Good morning. Well, almost afternoon. I am going to do a hair tutorial today. Yes? What? Oh, um, never mind. <laughs> that was Beckham. I think he was asking me if he could go outside and play basketball, but he just said never mind. Anyway, so I just got out of the shower. I am wash. I am, uh, this is called brushing, brushing my hair with a little wet brush from Target. It's, I have the other kind too with the handle and look, I need to clean it, yuck. Oop. Um, but I like this one better because it's very easy to hold. It fits right in the palm of your hand. So I am gonna do like a little hair tutorial and show y'all what I do, how I tame this mess of a hair. Um, I just use Pantene Clean Shampoo and um, I'm not really married to any one type of shampoo. I am using the Monet um, treatments, but usually only every other time I wash my hair. And I usually don't wash my hair every day. I never wash my hair every day. Um, because first of all, it's not good for your hair. And second of all, um, I, I would never be able to do anything but wash my hair and fix it if that's all I did. Does that even make sense? No. So anyway, um, this is me brushing my hair out. I'm just going to be doing lots of errands today. I'm gonna to take you with me um, to a place that um, my nephew didn't even know existed. So maybe some of y'all don't know it exists either. So I'm gonna take you there and um, just do some other random stuff. But anyway, so there it is. I have naturally, it's not really curly, it's more wavy, naturally wavy hair. And if I just leave it to dry naturally, it looks like a big giant mess, big, big awful mess. But anyway, so that is me with wet hair. Awesome, right? All right, so now on to the blow dryer. All right, here I am um, blow drying. I like to sit and blow dry, so I just bring um, my stuff out here on the side of my bed where there's this big giant mirror. Can you see the big mirror? Yep, there I am in the mirror. Um, it's just, it usually takes me about 15 minutes to blow dry my hair, and I just don't want to stand up for that long. <laughs> I know I'm lazy. So here it is, all brushed out, and you can see the waves sort of in the back and the front's more straight. So I just use a regular, what is this even, Keratin Complex hair dryer. I probably had this thing for five years. And it does have the nozzle on it so it directs the air right to your hair without all over. And then I just use a round brush that my dog chewed. Yep, I'm a, that's how I roll. So anyway, I'm just going to um, do a little blow dry. I have to turn to the side so I can see in the mirror, but you're gonna blow dry your hair, my hair. All right, so let's get started. Ah, okay, my cord was all tangled. So the first thing I do is just uh, run my fingers through it and, and get it probably 80% dry. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not gonna use the brush yet. I'm just um, using my fingers. So this is what it would look like. It's not all the way dry, it's about 80% dry. Um, it's still kind of wet in the back, but the front is dry. And this <laughs> is what you get. See how wavy it is underneath? Yeah. 
Um, so I do that and um, just FYI, I live in Texas, I live in Dallas, really Frisco, but most of y'all don't know where Frisco is, so I just say Dallas. And um, it is very hot and very humid. It is only June, the June 4th, I think, is when I'm filming this. And it, I think the other day it was 106 degrees, yeah. So it's brutal, brutal, brutal. And with all of this, it is just, um, it's super hot. So during the summer, this is how I wear my hair. 99% of the time, even in the winter, I'll blow dry it 80% of the time, 80% of the way, and then I'll pull it back in a pony, a low pony, and then just wrap it like this, twist it, do a little twist, and then, can you see what I've done? And then put a clip in there and just clip it and that is my hairstyle for 50% of my life. Uh, but today I just wanted to show you how I do my hair. Uh, so that's it. Now, all right, then I take this. These are great little, I think they're called alligator clips or something. I just got them at Ulta. All right, you're looking good right now, Kelly. All right, then I just section it um, and I wrap it and flip it over, clip it, and then I, this is when I take my round brush, my dog chewed brush, and I just section it, and then I'm just gonna blast it, just to get it a little bit straighter, and. Just a little bit of blasting with the um, round brush gives it, I mean, that's all you have to do. And then I'll do another section. Flip it, flip it and clip it. Is like a before and after see it's just more silky oh, my hair's too long and opposed to like this could be a hair commercial for before and after see that's it um, and so now I'm gonna do the other side and then um, I'll show you what I do after that you don't really need to watch the other side it's exactly like this side so I'll be right back okay this is the end and um, this is just how I finish off the front. I usually um, over directional it. I don't know what that's called, but I blow it on this side because I part it on this side and it just works better, so. frizzy as you do a before and after side by side so there is the bottom it's still a little bit frizzy but um, 
I'm gonna show you what I do for that. Um, and while I do my makeup, I'll show you what I do with my hair. So be right back. Okay, now um, I'm gonna just put a tiny bit of makeup on today to go out because it'll literally melt off my face. So anyway, I just pull it back while I'm putting on my makeup. I just pull it back like I showed you earlier and whip it around, whip it, and then it's just like in a loose knot. I can't see if you can see, so I'm just assuming you can see. And then I just put a scrunchie, hello 1980, and just loosely tie it while I do my makeup, and then I'll show you what it looks like after that. So let's do a little bit of makeup. I'm gonna carry you with me in here. There's Nashville. Do you see Nashville? Where's Nashville? There's Nashville. All right, so we're gonna go into the bathroom again, and the lighting in the bathroom is awful, awful, awful. So I'm gonna show you. Um, I used to put on all of my um, face stuff as soon as I got out of the shower, but then I realized it really needs to go on right before you do your makeup. And since it takes me to do my hair about 20 minutes, I waited till after to put on all my face products. So I start with this mm -hmm. Josie Moran Argon Oil and put that on. It's just face oil. I have super dry skin, especially in the summer. There's Casey, she's crying for some reason. What's wrong, Casey? Do you want to be on the on the YouTube too? Let's see, Casey. There's Casey. There she is. Okay. All right. So I just put this on. Rub it in. Oh, it feels so good. It smells good too. And then I do my Rodan and Field Soothe Number Two for redness sensitive skin, dry skin, and I just take it and I rub that on. Ah, oh, it feels really good. Really nice. Oh, I know, I already did my morning routine, but I'm just gonna show you. It's just a daily vlog of what I do, and then just see that tiny, tiny drop of the number three Soothe. Very, very hydrating. I know some people pat, pat it in, but I just rub it in all over my eyes. Oh, there's Casey crying again. I swear, the second I turn on my camera to do these videos, the dogs cry because I think she thinks I'm talking to someone, but I'm not, I'm not talking to anyone. Well, take that back. I'm talking to all of y'all, but she's looking for someone else in the room. She doesn't understand YouTube. And this is the Rodan and Fields eye cream for dark circles. As you can tell, my son had a migraine last night and he suffers from migraine. He's only 10 and he has a migraine to the point of throwing up. But once he throws up, he feels better. Last night he did not throw up because I had seen on YouTube somewhere that once a, a migraine starts if you give them a massage then it helps relieve the pressure and gets the blood flowing so i massaged his shoulders his back his skull and he fell as he fell back asleep and he did not throw up and this morning he woke up totally fine although he did sleep till nine o'clock which is awesome um and i feel like they're oh yeah one more step let me get it All right, this is just a primer that I put on. I'll link everything down below. Uh, maybe if I stood back, it wouldn't be so harsh. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna take you over by the window with my um, makeup mirror my giant makeup mirror, and this is where I put my makeup on, right here by the window so I can see because once you get to be over 50 or 40 or whatever, I'm 55, oh, 
Um, you just can't see without a makeup mirror, without a, a magnifying mirror. So anyway, this is my view. There's my makeup. Okay, I'm just gonna do a simple, simple, you know, Tuesday afternoon makeup, just running errands around. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do eyes, all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna use the um, It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the Illuminating CC Cream. I have the other one too, but I like this for summer. It's real pretty and gives you a really pretty sheen. And the Age Rewind for under my eyes. And the NARS oh, concealer. And then just touch this onto my brows. So that is it. Just a simple makeup routine. And I don't want, I'm gonna be looking in the mirror, so. Oh, let's see. All right, I just, some people put this on with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, or a, um, a brush and all that. I just don't. I just don't. I just dab it on my face. Just like this. This color is really nice. It matches. It's medium. They didn't have light, but that's okay because this one actually is pretty spot on. Hold on a second. Mm, I was going to use something to pull my hair back because it bugs me when I watch makeup videos and they leave their hair down. Uh, just rub that on. I know I'm probably rubbing too hard, but it is what it is. Anyway, and I take it down here. <laughs> you hear my dogs. All right, so that's evenly distributed. Casey is whining. All right, then I take a little, ah! Everything's flying around today. A little bit of this and just dab it like this under my eyes. I'm looking at the viewfinder here if you're wondering what I'm looking at. And then I just pat that in real gently. Just pat it. Just pat. And then take a little bit up here for all the veininess in my eyelids. <laughs> Can you hear Casey? She's so funny. Golden Doodles are a bit neurotic. But she's the sweetest dog ever. And then um, I'm going to take the um, NARS concealer. Here comes Nashville. And I'm going to, I have this spot right here that will not go away like a little sunspot and I'm just gonna dab some of the NARS concealer on there and <laughs> magically disappear okay and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of the um, gimme brow by by is it benefit yeah benefit and I'm just gonna rub this on here like so no, I don't know if you can see it because I'm looking in the mirror. And doing this real, not perfect or anything, just to give it a little bit, right? Okay, one more thing and let me get... Okay, and just something real quick. The Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and highlighter palette right here. I'm just gonna take my little stipple brush, the little, it has different size, and just put it in here, gently tap it off, and just do a little bit of warmth to my face mm. up here. Casey, okay, on the cheeks, underneath, a little bit more up here. Mm. Underneath, just where the sun hits like this and then put a little bit on my eyes mm. <laughs> poor Casey and ta -da! that's it that's all I'm doing now I'm going to get dressed and then I'll show you um, once I take my hair down and we'll be good to go run some errands all right so I just had that in the 
little knot and then I just take it out and it just gives it a little bit of body and a little bit of curling without having to use any heat. So that is it, we're ready, so let's go. All right guys, I am back. We ran errands. I was going to bring you along with the errands, but it was a bit of a, um, it was too stressful to videotape and we were really trying to do some shopping for camp, so I might put it up. Um, it really wasn't, Beckham was like, why are you doing that? It's, no one wants to see this store. So anyway, I may or may not, it's not that big of a deal. So you saw my um, running Aaron's hair, so let's do a nighttime date night hair look. So what I do is I take my hot tools tool, come here. This is just a, I think it's a quarter inch, maybe, curling iron. And this is specifically for long hair. See how long the barrel is? And the top turns so you can just rotate it. All right, so here's the thing, and I learned this from Shay Whitney. I will link her YouTube down below, and you can see how she does it. And, um, it's such a genius way to curl your hair. Instead of starting from the back and going to the front, she starts in the front. And I just leave this piece right here. See, look, I got a little bald spot. I'm pointing out all my imperfections. All right, so I just take this. It's freshly brushed, so I don't, and in the front of your hair, you always wanna do it um, away like this. And then, you, I just curl it. It's not rocket science, that's for sure. And the trick is, I learned this trick from a girl named Harmony, is instead of going down like this to get like Shirley Temple curls, you put it to the side to make it more wave-like. And then just take it out and it goes, I might have left it in a little bit bit too long and if it does that if it curls up on you like that you just take it and pull it just pull it okay and then it gets just a little wavy like that and then I just flip it over to this side and oh hello and clip it okay and it stays might have to redo that one I might have left it in too long as I was trying to explain it to you guys all right so just take it I'm gonna do the opposite way this time. Pull it, curl it up, and hold it diagonal to your scalp, like that. Not for very long, I learned the hard way. And just pull it out. And there it is, find the curl. I just like to rub my hands through it a little bit. And then pull it over and clip it. And you can do as big or as small sections as you like. The bigger the sections, the more of the wave look you get instead of it being like the curl look. It's more of a wave look. Take it. I don't do the ends either. I just leave the ends out like this and curl it. Make it diagonal. And let it go. See, gives you like a nice little wave and then you'll see what it looks like at the end. If you can see the bottom of my hair, I need to scoot back probably. That'd probably be a great idea. Let's see, oh, I'm about at the end. I'm about at my bed, so I'll show it to you. All right, now we're gonna go the opposite way. Just gives it more of a not so done look if you do opposite way like this hold it diagonal to your head mm -hmm. couple seconds and then i can't find the thing when i'm looking in the viewfinder okay there just rub your hands through it flip it over oh, use the clip and I have this much left, so I'll do two different sections. All right, so this is definitely not 
an everyday look for me. This is a look that I swear my friends rarely see me like this. Um, my family does every once in a while because, you know, if we go out to dinner or holidays, stuff like that. Um, we just got back from California. I did it a couple times there. Um, but, you know, it's just labor intensive and I just don't have time for all that nonsense. But I like it and I think we're gonna go out tonight. Um, Rodney wants to go out, so we were, I think we're gonna take Beckham to this little concert thing in Louisville. Because today, actually, it wasn't as hot as it, as it normally is. Kind of do it sideways. It's not, I swear, there is Casey again. She does this every time I turn on my camera. She hasn't done it since we've been home from running errands. And as soon as I turn my camera on, she starts her whining. All right, now, I did the side, so I take it all down, flip it back over, and... Da da there are the waves. All right, so now I'm gonna do this side, just like that side, and I will be back when I'm done. It's the same thing. I'll show you the first couple, um, and then, you know, you, you get it. You know how to do it. The top, or the fir front, I, this side's actually easier, because it just rolls right along, hold it diagonal, I might have left a little bit more ends than normal out, but that's okay. That's the beauty of it because it just starts to look, I can't find the end, it looks undone and that's my main objective. I don't like it to be all, you know, like um, Miss America looking or beauty pageant-ish. That's not what I'm going for. And I like to wear it straight too. I'll do a straight video for y'all soon but i just wanted to jump on here and do this while i had nice clean hair and you will see this hairstyle will last a good three days now let me tell you a secret um if i work out or when i work out because i try to work out every day i've not worked out today um i'll i take just the very front Part, the the most you know a big chunk of just the front and I wash it in the sink and blow dry it and then it looks pretty pretty clean and fresh and I pop on some dry shampoo for the rest of it and you're good for another probably day maybe day and a half once you get that done and then you know that saves you so much time with all this hair, it really is not feasible to wash it every day. Just ridiculous. And I see all these people with the long, long bobs, the lobs or whatever you call them, like to right here. And I swear every time I do that, I've done it several times, I end up just wearing clip-on extensions because I miss my long hair. It's all in my brain, I know. I like it, my husband likes it. You know, he likes different different things. Long, short, my nose is running. I need a Kleenex. And that, oh, one fell out. Just take those two sections, put them up, flip them over. This, I swear this alligator clip, there, that's a good look, is such a lifesaver. I love these. Now I know why all hairdressers use them. Okay, let's go the other way with this one. It really, um, when I start talking, I forget which way I did it, but again, no big deal. Da -da -da. And take it out. All right, let's take this side out. That literally you saw you saw me do it on camera. I didn't pause it, I didn't do anything. And that was maybe five, seven minutes. And there you go. Not bad. Now I might do something with my bangs. My bangs, my bangs are these in the front. Um, 
but anyway I just like take the sections see how that still looks too done I just take it and I just kind of separate it and brush my hands through it like this um, I usually honestly I don't use a lot of products on my hair because then that takes away from being able to have um, your hair not being washed for like three days because then you get the product build up. I know some people just pile on the product. My hair is very thick and wavy so it does hold a curl and that's it. So um, in the next couple days I would take all of this, like I said, take this whole part right here, get it into the sink, wash it, blow dry it, and then it would be another day or two of not having to wash it hair, wash my hair. But anyway, that's it. You see the ends? Ta da! Simple, simple hair tutorial from start to finish, daytime look, nighttime look. It's all super easy, effortless, and you got a pretty nice little hairdo. All right, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to try to upload a lot more now that it is the summer. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.